I'd rather not count up the man hours spent just standing in a line. Lifelong Napervillian and sports reporter here at NCTV 17, Ryan Risky isn't talking about movie lines, roller coaster lines, or even the DMV. He's talking about lines in the sporting events to ensure he gets his hands on yet another bobblehead. The Cubs, you know, the Cubs are really bad. In 2012, lost over 100 games. Um, and they had a Castro bobblehead day, and at the time he's, you know, really the only player people like, you know, him and Samarja. So I wanted to go get that, so I got that, and then I just kind of started looking at promotion schedules after that for the good bobbleheads, and ever since I've been to almost every single bobblehead game. That has led to a staggering collection. Risky estimates over 120 bobbleheads he has picked up at stadium gates over the last seven years. The ones up on the mantle right here, just the ones that are currently on my shelf. Uh, Crawford, obviously my favorite athlete. The temptation to sell some of the giveaway items is strong. Yes, when you see a lot of them going for over $100, yes. But each has a story and sentimental value along with that monetary value. Right here is actually probably the most valuable one and my favorite, the final out bobblehead featuring Bryant and Rizzo and then a blue W flag. That one was selling in between $150 and $200. That's a pretty penny to pass up, but after hearing the story of endurance to get it, makes it clear there's a reason it remains on the mantle. So I knew it was gonna be a hot bobblehead, so I waited about two hours, two and a half hours in line for a game in May to wait in a torrential downpour. Right before the game start, or right before the gates are gonna open, they called the game. So then it was made up in July on a day that it was 100 degrees out. Waited another two and a half hours and finally got it. And While they have accumulated, so too have the memories, precise ones of that. I just remember, you know, I associate, you know, game by bobblehead and there was one year, it was, I forget the year, it was Tebu Teravainen's first full season with the Hawks and he had a bobblehead day and the Hawks were losing 4-0 at the end of the first period. The recall is astounding, considering the fact that Risky doesn't keep score during games or revisits box scores to refresh his memory, though he was on hand in a professional capacity for a pair of those bobbleheads. These were the giveaway at the 2018 Illinois High School Hockey State Championship. I was there with the media covering the Wabanzi and Mattia Co-op, the Warriors Hockey Club. They were playing BGHW. After 24 years, Risky is set to leave Naperville, taking a news and sports reporter job with WHBF in the Quad Cities. Some of the bobbleheads will come with, others will have to be left behind, to which Risky jokes. My mom has debated on charging me rent to house them. <laughs> Even with his address moving two hours away, the lines will continue to call Risky's name with more promotions already circled on his calendar. Reporting for Sports Story Sunday, I'm Kevin Jackman.